In modern arboriculture, we find that the Nyko press cable clamping method is superior to the old methods. The old wire clips and cable clamps that we used to use in the old days, we have found a much better method in the Nyko press tool. And essentially what this is, is a giant pair of pliers that we use to squeeze a copper fitting over cable in order to secure a firm and strong attach point. And so again, the Nyko press tool is the new preferred method for, for my crew and we feel best management practices in cabling. It is also one of the most aesthetic ways to join cable because it's very slim and trim and almost invisible in the final installation. We're going to do a little bit of our Nyko press on the ground. Some of this is hard to do in the tree, so we're going to rig one end on the ground. We want our strongest possible attach point, so the request is why not use double Nyko press here so we know we're never going to have this thing pulling out. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to fit this one on the ground. One end we're going to be able to do on the ground, which will be quicker and easier for us. This is not always easy to get these through. There's one. There. We're through. We have our thimble and our forged eye bolt. Here's our assembly prior to Nyko Press. What we'd like to do is close up this gap as tight as we can before we Nyko Press. So we're going we're gonna to bring this in. Sometimes we can actually use some pliers to give us a little pinch and to help hold this in position while we're placing our Nyko Press fitting into place. We got our temporarily here rigged on the ground. Thimble in place, forged die bolt, Nyko Press fittings, 516 stainless steel cable. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Good, okay. So we can get three on each of these fittings. Many times you'll have a loose wire in the end of a cable like this and it's a serious hazard of being tailed on that thing. So what I like to do is get my strands all nicely wrapped and in position. The purpose of the tape is to whip down our stray wires at our cut. This doesn't add any structural strength, of course. This just gives the practitioner a little bit of protection from those little wires that will impale you like a needle. And there. That's probably adequate for safety, just that much. The tail end of our cable has been whipped down and we're protected from those loose wires. So we're going to Nyko press our second fitting. Like I said, this is going to be a, an extra safe, extra secure installation. So we're going to go ahead and Nyko press our second fitting now. In this observation, we're showing two men squeezing the Nyko press wedge method. In reality, one man is capable of squeezing that fitting solo. But with two men, we can greatly reduce the fatigue of multiple swedges. One end done. With our Nyko press fitting, our forged die bolt, thimble in place, 516 stainless. Very, very strong attach point. The stainless is so impervious to corrosion that there won't be a reaction between the two metals. But that is a problem sometimes. Dissimilar metals can oxidize. And so in the case of the Nyko press copper and stainless, we don't find there's a reaction. So okay. this will stay secure indefinitely. I think this is a good, secure, very, very strong attach point, as strong as the cable itself. And that's what we're after. We want a very, very strong anchor so that we have complete confidence in the strength of our structure. We can now see this tree going into the future with the very strong and secure Nyko press cable joinery method.